What's going on guys, it's Craig with Tech360 and today I'm going to show you how the fire call button works on an elevator. Alright, to start off, first thing you got to do is you got to find your ground floor elevator door. And usually right there at the left you'll see the little elevator, the little red elevator button. You will... Uh, put in your key it's a special key for that you'll put it in there which will activate the fire call which what that does is no matter where that elevator is in the shaft it's going to bring that elevator down to that floor and basically anybody pushing the buttons to get that elevator to come to them it's not going to work because now it's in fire mode so we wait and what that'll do is that'll activate the inside uh, fire control panel so you'll go in and now you'll see the firefighters operations panel is illuminated uh, I'm gonna try to get it open here it's gonna be kind of hard to get it with uh, one hand so I'm gonna try my best here and try to keep the camera on it so okay. all right now <clears throat> as you got in there you see all the buttons you got open close and you know but obviously you gotta put the key in to uh, actually put it into firefighter mode or the fire you know fire call mode so you can actually control it so once you put it in the mode the uh, door does not shut you have to manually close it so you manually close the door and you do not want to release it because if you release it it's gonna stop and open right back up so now once you get the door manually closed you select your floor and this basically in this mode what it does it allows basically mainly only you to control where that elevator goes so you're not going up to a third or fourth floor and then all of a sudden you have to stop at the second floor to pick somebody up no it shuts all the other key panels off now also once this thing reaches your floor the door will not open on its own it's a manual open as well the reason being is because if there happens to be a fire on the fourth floor and that's where the firefighters are heading you don't want that door to come flying open by itself and then fire comes rushing into the elevator so you have to manually open it with the, with the uh, open button so you can kind of crack it open and peek out and see if there's anything out there going on as soon as you hit it it'll open but then it'll also as soon as you let it go it'll stop and shut so just in case if something crazy is going on out there, the door automatically shuts as soon as you let it go now you can manually open it and it will stay open now you can get off the cart and get off the car go do whatever you need to do that car will not leave it will stay there waiting for you and once again you got to manually close it same thing it will not close on its own in case you leave somebody behind by accident you can hurry up and open that door back up now we're gonna go back down to the main floor to where we started I guess, and then also, this video is nothing malicious. I did not buy this key online. I'm not going through hotels and just playing with their fire buttons and fire call buttons. No, I work at this hotel. I am the maintenance guy. So I periodically go around, check the elevators, make sure all the functions work for reasons like this. In case if something happens, it all works. You know, and if, if it, some, you know, fire call buttons do not work, then we know who to, you know, get in contact with to get them fixed. Like I said, this is not to be malicious, not to play around on the stuff. People out there do do that, which can cause problems to the elevators if they're not careful. Um, and it, it sometimes, especially with these elevators that I'm, uh, this elevator I'm particularly working, messing with, can be an expensive fix if you mess it up. So, once you're done, you'll turn it all the way back over to off. You'll shut it. And you'll go back out to where we started and then you'll put the key back into the hole and then you'll turn it all the way to the left this time to where it says reset you turn it all the way over to reset and then you turn it to off and then now the elevator goes back into normal functioning mode the fans kick on and the normal door chimes and stuff will work as well but if you like the video, uh, please feel free to comment, subscribe, hit that like button. Uh, I'll do my best, you know, get back to any comments that are left on there. Uh, until next time, stay curious.